very good evening to you and thank you so much once again for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. We have been having very interesting conversations throughout the year and this is the first Thursday of October. Now we only have three months left of the entire 2024 and so much has been going on but particularly we have been seeing so much in the social media space in terms of conversations that have been sparking change and you see so much movement have, has been happening on social media but one thing that's been prevalent is the pressure that we get from social media in terms of our lifestyle the, the way we want to present ourselves the content we consume and the people that we watch so does it have an impact on our lives that's the conversation i want us to have today we want to talk about the social media effect and joining me live on set are two amazing amazing people who have been on social media they run businesses as well i have uh, irene aneo who is an entrepreneur karibu sana irene it's a pleasure to have you thank you for hosting me yeah, you're welcome. And right next to Adrian, we have Triple S, who's yes. an artist, and you have been on social media for a long, long time. Exactly. Haribu. Thanks, Nashkuru. It's such a pleasure to have both of you here. Thanks. We're going to be having this conversations with, uh, with this conversation with uh, these two wonderful guests. What are to inform based on their personal experience? But I want to hear from you as well because I know you're on social media, and I'm wondering. Do you think fake it till you make it is the way to go? Can you actually fake it till you make it? Because this has been the notion on social media. People tell you fake it till you make it. Is it something that's actually doable? So I want you to go on our social media platform, Sahi, at Y254. Let us know what you think about this conversation. Can you actually fake it till you make it? That's the question I'm asking you on social media as we progress with this conversation. And I'll sample your comments, your opinions, your experience later on so because our two guests have been on socials for a while i'll start particularly with the artist because there's a perception about celebrities socialites artists who are on social media so triple s yes do you feel the pressure of social media at times mm, yeah how do you feel it? Does it affect your personal life? How do you feel that impact? Is it because of the comments people say? Is it because of the content you consume? Consume. What, how do you feel the pressure of social media? Okay, it always runs uh, for both uh, for both ends because through the comments, people are gonna affect the lifestyle of someone. Mm. We come from different different uh, backgrounds. So you tend to get that uh, you may post something, but ukisha uh, post when you want to comment, palivo, it is affect in some ways because kuna someone somewhere when you post, wonge vibaya ataka kujibu. Then kuna yule maybe someone when you want to comment, pale no mujibiza na e. So, utapata watu wakupali different minds wa kwa comment section wakwa different minds. Mtu wana, mtu wana kusubiri tu wakwa attacked. So, sa, ata kwa attacked because venye utakuwa ume, umejibu. Ukijibu, anayelila kurusha. So, hiyo wakwa pia na kwa effect mentally. Adi, adi venye utakuwa umetoka social media. Ukiwa tu peki yao kivi yako. Una feel like kuna vile self-esteem ime, imeshuka because maybe someone has wakwa mbeile kitu enye. Iko karibu na ukweli, then you'll feel it. Mm. Yeah, so and that happens a lot. Now, exactly. Najo, that's a form of cyberbullying. Yeah. Mtu anakuja na wa Kenya. Eh wa Kenya. <laughs> wa Kenya tunakuwa watu wanapenda kujibizana. People Sana. love saying comments sometimes to just get a reaction saying ndo wachekeshe watu. Yeah. So it happens, Irene, for women it's even worse. Because there's usually a perception about yeah. them ukiwa social media umejipost maybe you've posted because you're happy yeah. sindio yeah. maybe una katu vizuri umejia kapo exactly. but people come in and they start giving you their comments their opinion does it affect the way you you present yourself on social media do you always think about what people will say before you put out content on social media okay let me start first by saying the biggest aspect of social media pressure is posting everything about your life, every single thing that you're doing in your life, you want to post it. So Napata, many people in our generation, my generation, they want to post if they're eating, if they're walking, if they're going anywhere. And for me personally, 
I don't enjoy doing that. So, no, so as a youth or as an artist or as an entrepreneur in social media, I find the pressure of constantly needing to post, constantly needing to validate myself through the posts that I make. And the posts that I post, sometimes they're misjudged. If I post myself looking nicely, why, why are you posing like that? Why are you walking like that? Why do you look like that? Why do you yeah. have so much makeup? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of, you, you need people to validate, people that you don't know, people who are outside there, you want them to validate you as a person. And if they don't validate you through comments or through likes, then you, you end up, uh, your day is ruined or you don't yeah. feel like you're not worthy. So I think the biggest pressure or the biggest influence that I ha I've had with social media is the constant need of posting every single thing that is happening in your life. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing that happens with uh, the, the generation that's, Currently, that yeah, Gen Z is Janel Fanani. I want to go social media. Exactly. <laughs> you have to post everything. I woke up. That's the sunrise. Mm -hmm. This is the view from my room, the balcony. Mm. This is my breakfast. Yeah. And there's this notion of if you don't if you don't post it, it didn't happen. Yeah. So people have forgotten that life can actually happen outside of social media. Exactly. So you have to post. And you've brought up, up a very important conversation, the validation. Yes. Sometimes we seek validation from people liking your content, mm -hmm. people yeah. liking what you've done, people, you know, just commenting and saying you're so good. Yeah. As an artist, Triple S, yes. how much does that affect you? How, when you seek validation, do you, does your art even change? how you create and everything because you want people to like what you're putting out. Yeah, exactly. Because Unapata usually go for the likes or for the comments in social media. If you get them more, now you'll think that you are on the right track, you see. But if you get them when there are few or they're less, you feel that no. Ujahit le point or wataka. So and that's why Unapata many artists or many comedians wandana whatever is trending. Unona. Because an attack zile likes zikuwe mob, whatever can attract people. You know? mm. So unapata, you can be doing the right thing, but because few people will like it, you'll feel like no. Bado. Yeah. Yeah. You go back then you do a necessary thing. Like for example, if you want to trend, you just have to do abnormal thing for you to trend. That's which true. is not good, yeah. So you'll be doing something which even for your parents is not worth it. For the society also the way they are going to view is not worth it. But because of the likes you want in social media, you'll have to do it mm. for you to be on the server the side. validation. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy because I, I came across a quote that was saying, if you put a hundred people in a room, yeah. those are so many people already. Mm. Yeah. And in this day and time, when you, you, you get a hundred likes, you're like, wow, yeah. mm. kidogo. I need to be doing yeah. more. Exactly. People want thousands and thousands of likes. Saying in a total of two likes. And we forget that in real life, these are so many people. Yeah. But is it also influenced by the content we consume? Is it because, Irene, perhaps you, you watch other ladies, they have so many followers, so many likes, and you're like, wow. Because she's getting this, yeah. I also feel the pressure yes. to do more to get to that level. Is it influenced by that? Absolutely. Uh, in this current generation, there's something called trends. What is trending? What is new? What is new? What is interesting? What do, what do people like? So, for example, as a female or as an entrepreneur, you find that, like people like maybe vulgar content or content that is maybe inappropriate, that maybe you're not comfortable doing yourself. But this is what the majority is doing. This is what the public wants to consume. If you do something that it does not look like that, then people are not interested in what you have to say or what you have to present to them. Yeah. So more often than not, you find ladies or girls, especially speaking as a woman myself, you're, you're forced to, you're not really necessarily forced, but you're influenced to maybe consume a particular content or maybe to do a particular content so that you can fit in, so that you can be like the other, so that you can grow yeah. your page. So I think these trends and what is new and everybody wants to be like the other person it's like people are copying each other yeah there's no originality or no authenticity because everybody's doing the same thing because of trends because of uh, likes and 
all of those that, things. The validation. Mm. The validation. Mm. Exactly. And it really affects you because uh, the way you're saying, some people get so lost in all that, mm. they forget who they are. Yeah. And it's yeah. happened to so many artists. Exactly. Mm. 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 music particular, a certain mm. style. Yeah. But because when I feel like I've been underground for so long, yeah. let me make a TikTok song. Because exactly. that's what is trending. That's what is trending. Yeah. Yeah. Do you f- do you ever feel like I need to change what I'm doing so that I can trend because of the pressure of Labda na follow some big artists oh. and you see they put content out there, yeah. everyone is on their page. Mm-hmm. So you feel like you have to compromise what you like mm-hmm. to fit into what people want. Oh yeah, many artists tend to do so, but uh, me personally, I don't usually go with those things because I believe that just for some times. Because even if you go to my YouTube channel, then you check the latest uh, video I dropped. It was totally out of everything doing like trending. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it, it is all about sad reality, whereby you are dead, then you, sur- you res- resurrect, then you find the scenario is not the way you thought it was. Yeah. You have so many followers in social media, but when you resurrect, you find that those people who came for the burial are very few mm-hmm. compared to how people are following you mm-hmm. on social media. Yeah. So tell that. Something like that, yeah, Nikito deep, yeah, I'm to really think deep, sana. that's why I put on a song, yeah, mm. but I'm going to trend on TikTok or social media, I'm going to your idea. Mm. But because it's something which is reality, some of reality, I always trend, no, no. Mm. So what we're going to do is not on TikTok. Uh-huh. How, how do you feel when you mm-hmm. put in the work, you have uh-huh. inspiration, and you content agenda when you have to How does that make you feel as an artist? No, to me personally, me, I just feel good because uh, I, I usually believe like we can be 12 people or 10 people. If you are 10 people, then song young we touch watu watu wanne na watu wasita isi wataj. I'm good to go, so long mm-hmm. as you touch someone's life, you know, Yeah. Because even when I went th- through the comments, I found that if you care, someone, adi ilikuwa deep. So na patamuta, I've been following my songs, but when you look a comment, na when you look comment, you know, liliweka totally different. Mm-hmm. So I'm happy that if you care, say, now and I know, I know, I know. As time goes by, mtu atakuja ku realize that this guy kuna kitu aliweka nyingi kwa important sana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's really that's really good because so mm. few people when yeah. I kwana yo mindset ya kuna mtu ni meguza na yeah. kenye nafanya. Exactly. We tend to want to catch a thousand people. Yeah. Na kwa a thousand maybe akuna mwenye ame engage vizuri na kenye exactly. yeah. put out there. Yeah. Irene, mm. are you ever do you ever feel pressure from the people who follow you? Not the people you follow, followers wako. Because you probably have old classmates, sijui mm. family, <laughs> colleagues, <laughs> wasiju wapi una feeling the pressure ya prove to these people that ni me make it <laughs> let me just tell you the pressure is real <laughs> <laughs> honestly yeah. when i log into instagram i see my classmate from campus is um, he's, she has opened a business they are maybe traveling out of the country they're getting married some have children i'm like jesus what am i doing with my life <laughs> <laughs> so all all i can say is in all honesty yes mm. in all honesty i do feel pressured by the people that i follow mm. and let me tell you something i realized the other day that um i read somewhere which which said the eyes are the are the doors to your soul yeah whatever you look at becomes what you become inside whatever the content you consume in social media becomes what you endure on you as a person yeah. So you realize every time you look at certain content or you get pressured by certain people or certain lifestyles or certain situations, yeah. una, even these people are not telling the truth. They are lying. They are faking it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I make a social media and you are like, I want to be like that one. I want to be like that one. You're just going to be a copy of another person. True. You're not going to be who you are, who you are supposed to be as a person. Yeah. So in as much as yes, the pressure is there. Yes, the need for conformity and fitting in is there. You just have you to, have at the end of the detach. day, do you and detach yeah. and do what works for you. I really like mm. that because not everyone understands that. Yeah. And ultimately, unajo, people post the best. Exactly. People post highlight. Ya maisha, kama siku yangu imebo, alafu niende Sankara leo jioni. Nita post niko Sankara. Izo zingine ati sijuri makanga li niongelesha sijuri ya jenini. Unajana. I will talk about it. Yeah. And that's what happens because only a few people will talk about the worst. Yes. But exactly. people post the very best. And then mm. uki consume kwe like, 
wow, huyu anafanya hivi, huyu anafanya hivi, I'm not doing enough. You can get so lost in that and forget what you're actually doing. Yeah. Yeah. Triple S, I'm yes. sure there are family who follow you. Exactly. Aunties and uncles, maybe just cousins wako, tuongelee hii generation nyingine. Uh-huh. Unajua kuna wao wazazi wenye wana kuangalia ngao umepost wanajiuliza. Sasa mtoto wetu ameharibika. Hivyo tu. Umeka video vixen na medance hapo uko like hey. Wa unataka kwa hesabu. Eh, usherati ndio hiyo. Eh, eh, yeah. Do you ever feel the need to safisha rada? Kwa sababu kuna family wana watch content yako. Mm, not really. On my case me organize fanya what I feel is the best for me. Mm. Because how got so many different songs and kila song inaenda na vibe yake there is a song like if i'm talking about twerking you don't expect me to kuchukua watu wameva kanzu ni weke pale haezi enda nayo if i'm talking about this table i have to talk about this table mm. you get it visualized like ni wataka mnaisikia audio version of it kuna venye umeshaiona in a vision form I feel like this video should be like this yeah yeah so i don't surely do something to please someone or do what because uh, at the end of it i'm doing it because i love what i'm doing yeah. and I'm, i'm not there doing it because of someone I'm, i want to please your man i just want to ni kama story like no jamii ni mtu toka tv sasa so ni kama jaribu kupiga story na wananchi so for me to assemble all of you guys then like pamoja to piece story story yangu haitaisha so the best thing is ni kina portion of song na ni kwa youtube forever forever sindio yeah. how about you irene do you ever feel pressure from Eh kuna anti flani ana watch pahali siezi post niko sherehe. <laughs> that that happens to me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I don't post a lot because of the people that follow me or the people that can see my content. Mm. Because saki ile picha utaki kuchoma picha, ndio ndio kuchoma picha. Yeah. Kuchoma yeah. picha. So it, it, honestly, yes. <laughs> it happens. And I'm telling you personally I've had experiences where distant cousin mwenye mm. sijamwona in such a long time ana nikuja mm-hmm. ati eh so ni kwa sherehe juzi and yeah. i'm like wow yeah. uli niona wapi acha <laughs> <laughs> nikwambia the other day yeah. mm. the other day um, my aunt calls me and tells me so nitumie pesa nikamwambia yake sina pesa basi nilikuwa na kuona kula hotel and they don't care what's going on in your life <laughs> I did it was like 3 months ago and it's it's so crazy because yeah. there's always that perception mtu anakuona ana una tu huyu akona do huyu akona do huyu akona hivi huyu ameomoka sasa hiyo uko kwa nyumba unafikiria e safari kwa mata si junta nunuaje bundles exactly, leo exactly exactly you know the simple things because people don't post the struggles they're going through yeah yeah but we tend to compare ourselves Triple S according yes. to when you nasema mm. you avoid comparing yourselves. Exactly. So do you look for inspiration from uh-huh. what to instead of comparing yourself because people when wengi watenda social media waseme oh mimi nilo gari. Mimi hata mimi nataka nilo gari. Shale yake amempeleka sijui wapi hata yeah. mimi nataka. Huyu yeah. boy ame ameomoka sijui aje. Uh-huh. Do you ever feel that need? Ama unaangalia ng'a mtu alafu uko like eh hey, I mean inspire maybe mm. I need to do more to get to where this person is. Yeah, una job ya ina depend penye wenye una ya life yako na place umetoka. Me I usually believe like uh, the background background yetu waga ina determine sana wenye behavior zako zitakuwa na wenye utakuwa na handle more tackle every obstacle na kuja in life. So to me, me waga naweza get inspired through a story someone ameniambia ama wenye nimeangalia ama ile yangu na yeka then na na share na wase. Because I believe kuna Unaona ile time I'm sorry to say that unajua kuna ile time kuna ile time ile former president Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa interview akaulizwa bei ya mkate. Venye aliseme hiyo bei watu walicheka. Mimi sikucheka kwa sababu mimi I know kuna certain people ata in this nini society sasa hizi venye tunaongea haujui hata bei ya mkate. Haujui mate na pando na bii gani ama mm. juu stage ya kwenda umo atachukulia wapi. Ama ama hata anatoka Kilimani lakini ajui akiwa tao anaweza pandia wapi mate ya kwenda kwa drop halinga mama wapi yani yeye yuko tu ana live under that situation whereby anapikiwa pale wanampika wanam drop wanampika so ajui na mtu ameka hapa even so many years in Nairobi na ajui kona zote za Nairobi street unaona so i believe unajua mtu kama huyo awe sema hasa life yake iko tu poa venye iko hivyo hata pia anatazamani sana amingu na watu wa Islando lakini hazipata hiyo chance na siku penda kwake ni last time yenyewe kwa brought up unaona yeah. so na part inspiration like mtu kama huyo kuna story anazotaka kusikiza 
mtu kama wewe kuna venye anazasikia hizi za zile ngoma za abantu na magenge ton ashindwa kwa hawa sio wanatumia lugha gani na wako yeah. the same the same city wako Nairobi mm. lakini ile lugha apart sana eh shengi imempita exactly <laughs> naona yeah. yeah so mimi na mimi na get inspired tu venye mtu wa yuko mastoi zote venye ziko then na write muziki wangu then na unleash kwa the world napenda hiyo because what you're saying can yeah. show some level of maturity Exactly. In that we understand kila mtu ako na life yake kila mtu ako na journey yake. Yeah. And the minute to understand hivyo you know yeah. to save from a lot. Exactly. And the problem is on social media we don't understand that. And meanwhile tukiendelea na conversation nataka kuuliza mnieleze. Mm-hmm. I've posted a question on social media. I want you to tell me. Yeah. Can you fake it till you make it? Because watu wengi tunataka tuonyeshe niko na hii niko na hiyo and kuna some aspect of delusion hapo. Yeah. So can we actually fake it till we make it because people have said that's what uh, that's the way to go mm-hmm. that's what you do ndio ufike hapo mm-hmm. wali fake paka waka make it yeah. so do you think it's possible for you to fake it till you make it go on our platforms at y254 niambi experience yako give me a story give me your opinion about this conversation and i will sample your comments to kirudi uh, later on i'm sorry in the show yeah. uh irene i'm wondering mm-hmm. because you you're a business owner yeah. And I know the pressure of business owners kwanza squeeze kila mtu wako online yeah. biashara kama zote ziko online yes. branding marketing mm-hmm. venye ametumia influencers nini we all see that yeah. does it make you feel like you're pressured to present your business in a certain way because there's the competition from all these other brands absolutely mm. absolutely every time i go onto my business page i feel like i'm failing as an entrepreneur almost 90% of the time because i feel like if this person would uh, uh, i may manage kufanya this and this and this why am i not able to do it but yeah. unapata at the end of the day it's because maybe your finances it's because maybe uh, of the time time frame because currently you are, i am working as well yeah. as running a business i'm not like a full time mm-hmm. entrepreneur mm-hmm. you get like most of the times like uh, the the validity people liking people sharing you yeah. find the engagement is not as much So the the encouragement to actually do it is not there. You don't feel like doing it because uh, why are you doing it people are not liking it. <laughs> It's like you're wasting your time. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, absolutely every time. And do you think sometimes because we we've, we've seen some major major brands yeah. zenye zimepushiwa na influencers. Ama yes. I ni maybe influencer anaanzisha brand. Mm. So because akona how followers mm. na nini mm. wana translate wanaenda kwa business yes. yake. Does it ever make you feel like you need to do more for your personal page ndio translate ikwe kwa business sasa? It does make me feel like that but at, at the end of the day I don't think um, I I could do that. I don't think I am built to do that. Yeah. Yes, because in as much as yes I'd like to improve my personal brand, <coughs> I'd like to in- improve my my business. I'm not really a very big social media person or a person who's always like on IG because I feel like it's always they're always faking it. Yeah. It is not And there's big. your aspect <laughs> by the they're, way. They're, they're, they're showing you what you need to see. They're not showing you the authenticity. They're not showing you the struggle, the stress. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> the discouragement and let me yeah. tell you as an entrepreneur the biggest the biggest thing is that you're going to face is discouragement yeah because if if you post something and you get like two likes and those two likes are from your friends una feel like wow so surely what is the point yeah we really do no no you don't want to be motivated to do it as much you don't yeah. motivated to do it as much so, so the, the validity and uh, the pressure yes it's there as a business owner it is mm. triple s do you yes. ever feel that una feeling need ya ku fake lifestyle yako ama ku fake content mm-hmm. yenyeka out there mm-hmm. ndio watu wako na cuz unajua kuna ile nini perception ya u ni msanii oh, yeah. mm-hmm. kuna venye unafuku unaishi yeah, exactly yeah. do you ever fake it like when you're there mm-hmm. on social media in terms of your content the lifestyle that you're living mm-hmm. do you put out something ndio watu waseme enyewe u ni msanii ni jina kubwa Mm, not really i don't surely fake it kana juaga ni niko na hiyo niko na hiyo image ya usanii whether ni vayaje ama ni tembeaje najua nikitokezea you be like okay if you're not a dj you are an artist like you are a celebrity yeah eh, so kuna ile kitu inakuga inborn ile even if you want to kuificha sana yeah. bado wezi ificha unaona then another thing i don't surely fake it because mimi wanafanya odd jobs 
eh, because nasikia ga mtu akisha kwa msania ama nini or a brand kuna vitu hauwezi engage no i'm not like that mimi ni mkulima na lima najua time yangu ya kwenda kwa harvest time yangu ya kupiga biashara kufanya nini so hii yangu tu inakuwa ni kama sawa ni kujibamba tu but in real life najuaga kuna ile situation inafika hadi place unafika kwa kona as a human being mm. unajua we tend to fake it because maybe tuna tuna follow up sana wale wasao majuu unaona mm, so true. wale wasao majuu pia wanatu show ile kitu tunataka kuona mm. lakini back then unajua kina napitia umeona mm. kama hiyo story ya PDD nobody knew yeah. vitu kama hizo kwanza nafanyika mm. nobody knew kabisa yeah. ukiuliza artist who do you want to collab with who do you want to be like i'm like i don't I want to be like banner boy i want to be like platinum diamonds you are like huh? so you use vitu ziki hapo ziki kubwa lakini yeah. so vitu ziki unleash you are like oh Oh I want to win a Grammy award then unaona unasikia stories you for you to win a Grammy you have to pass through a certain stage you know na Yeah So these people is vitu walikuwa na feature So yeah. anakupa ile picha yenye unge angependa yeah. mm. So you admire you want to be like that person but you struggle sana pitia Ukweli huji yeah. behind the scenes nini amefanya ama yeah. nini kufika So size ndio watu tukiambiwa we are like wow kumbe ndio maana wakenya hujaifika kumbe ndio maana you never know maybe wakenya pale walishaa approach you kwa sababu nataka grammy i'm like yeah nataka grammy lakini ya sawa you want to do 1 2 3 i'm like hapa na acha tu acha hiyo grammy kae eh so na una chocha tuambia ni ukwe hata tukikuja local local yeah mimi wacha let me let me talk to Irene because oh, I think in affecting my dem sana. Kuna na dem ame post Benz na Bo hapo. I know. Na mama wa sije mimi. Next sije na me post Bima, mabuke na Red Red Bull. Wewe kwa classmate, wewe kwa classmate. Aje. Huyu Juzi Juzi ndo nimetoka na Range Rover amekewa Bo. Ana unbox sije manini manini. Show me your god. Kumbe juice struggle za kupitia. Irene anapitia hadi unashindwa. Labda ako na mtu mwenye na finance and we don't know. We're not judging or anything like say like kila mtu. Does it ever make you feel like sometimes eh labda mzazi wangu alikosea benyali alini raise because sometimes people feel like if I didn't have morals I would have compromised some things so that I can achieve certain lifestyles yeah. but then things come out we've we've had stories yeah. socialite yeah. siju wanakuja wana expose yana huko siju nini ilikuwa inafanyika and you're like wow i thought you guys were happy mm-hmm. and that's why eh hey. yeah and that's why unapata ga mimi na waga naambia vijana wenzangu naambiaga don't ever compete with a woman don't never yeah because hata kama alikuwa classmate wako ama alikuwa sister yako definitely atakupita in life Don't feel like oh I want to compete oh ni huyu ni mtoto wetu mdogo umsiane zaliwa tu hapa ni nimemchunga nikamlea mbona anakuwa na mali kuliko no bro mm. aman ulikuwa ulikuwa umezaliwa kama una safa once umeshazaliwa hivi you have to suffer uh, you have to suffer until the end of your life because hiyo ndio route lazima tupitie lakini tebu kwanza dema tuambie unajua sasa umetuambia ma brother eh lakini dema kwa shot kan zake si you compare na eh how do you feel like when you see people getting all these things na wewe unaamka kwenda job <laughs> boss wako sasa yingine amekukula akili unasikia tu i kazi how does that make you feel do you ever so, feel like you're pressured to do something so that you can get to where these people are sometimes i honestly i usually feel like maybe i should shut down my morals for a minute and just be bad You know, I don't feel bad about doing bad things. I actually yeah. feel like that. Yeah. But then I in summer. And then after that what what next? What's yeah. going to happen? Yeah. I'm like, "Mm, acha tu nikae." Because today naweza naweza enda hapo nje nipate 1 million. Nataka kesho 10 million. Money yeah. is never enough. Never. You just have to find contentment in what you have in the situation where you are. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not about that my brother could you compare na madem. Yeah. Don't ever compare yourself to anybody. To anyone, Whether kwa dem ama chali. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Because your journey is different, my journey is different. Yeah. Mm. So mimi nasema mimi mi, mi, nataka leo pia mimi nikuwe kama Cheryl. <laughs> I don't know what you've been through. Yeah. yeah. I just met you maybe today. I don't know I don't know who Cheryl is as a person. I don't know what you're hiding. Yeah. What is in your closet? You don't know the same way you don't know what is in my closet. Yeah. True. So at the end of the day me and as a manga let me let me make plans for myself and what i can achieve me as a person as Irene as an individual yeah. say okay to, uh, by in the next by the end of this year i want my business to be here can i achieve it yes even if cash niende kwa kwa social media yone mtu mtu alianza biashara last month amenua gari i'm like that's not me that's yeah. not my path yeah. let me just wait it out exactly. and let me tell you there's nothing there's nothing so fulfilling as seeing the fruit 
of the things you've worked hard for. Even if it has taken years, it's so fulfilling. You know, like, yes, it was worth it. Yangu, yes. I did it. And I think that's the same thing Triple S mm. and Asema. Yeah. You have to hustle to get the things that you want. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it inafanya una value even more. Yes. Yes. Because una jua bidi and yes. you take for you to get to where you're at. Mm. Yeah. And it's such an interesting thing because what you squeeze on a shortcut. Sana. Mina taka niende Villa Rosa. Mm. Uh -huh. Staki kujua nitaenda aje. Wacha uh -huh. niende huko. Uh -huh. You know, and that's the perception so many people have. Yeah. So they're willing to compromise so much mm. to get to that level. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? How, Triple S, how do you feel about that? Because clearly when you unasema, mm -hmm. wuko authentic. Wewe yeah. ni, ama nitafanya kenye mina jua, yeah. ni kifika nitafika. Yeah. But how do you feel when you sit with other artists, na unasikia mtu wako willing to compromise some things mm -hmm. to get to where you think, ama they think they want to be at, na nini, na status flani? Yeah, unajua, hapo hivyo inakongani kama, nisema, jini kama mko shule, then exam imiletwa. Kama mungu na mwakenya, unata kuiba hii exam, do upate job, hapo mbele ukimaliza shule, like wena life poor hapo mbele, ama unataka kuiba, upite then ubrag, na wase like, ni pass exam. So ina kwa di, two different dimensions, naona? Mm. Meza kwa naiba because I want to brag for others, nilipita. Kuna mtu na iba, ili, a focus, afikie destiny yake, ya kwa nataka kima so muna cheki. So unapata our student wawili, wako two different people in in one world on check so kama mtu anataka kufanya vitu anataka kufanya tafike pale is good ata follow your path yake lakini mimi nitafollow hii yangu hata kama itanichukulia time but ni poa then kuna ile pia mtu anafika pale lakini mimi nimejua tumia rutumbaya na amefika deep down anajua yenyewe to place na anajua nilifanya 1 2 3 nikafika pale ama nika win grammy lakini yeye haja win kwa sababu najua okay najua na make sense kwa wimbo zake kwanza kuopoa alisifu kwa boardroom lakini because akufanya 1 2 3 hawezi fikia hiyo grammy mm. it's okay that's your life this is my life yeah so bado in a trickle back to the choices you make yeah, yeah, you yeah. Yeah. and yeah. i want yeah. us to take a very short break on that note we're having a very interesting conversation na nimeuliza swali hapo social media nataka kujua can you actually fake it till you make it is it possible for you to fake your life and all these things? Alafu eventually itakukujia. Go on our social platforms right now at Y254. Nikki Rudy, I'll come back with the comments that may share because I want to engage with you on this conversation. Can you fake it till you make it? Our platforms are at Y254. We're going to take a very short break. Alafu tuta Rudy to sample your comments. Tuendele na conversation to figure out is social media pressure. Itatumaliza ama sisi ndo tutaimaliza. So let's take a break but stay tuned to Y254.